Way Home is about a man named Cephas Miles, who's growing up in a small town in North Carolina called Crossroads. It's heavily based on Sam Art Williams' own hometown of Burgaw, North Carolina. And the play essentially follows his journey across three decades, from the 1950s to the 60s to the 70s, as he grows up in Burgaw, leaves Burgaw after having been ostracized by the town for dodging the Vietnam War draft, and finally, at the end of the play, returns home uh, to North Carolina to restart his life back where he began. There are only three characters in this play. So how does Williams use these three characters to develop the play? The play is performed by only three actors. And it, it is minimal in that it's only being performed by three actors. And they change characters by taking off a hat and putting on a scarf. In that regard, it's a very theatrical play. This isn't realism, right? It's not August Wilson. Um, you know, we work in metaphors in this play uh, so that simple gestures say a lot. So Williams uses simple but very poetic language to tell the story. A lot of it sounds like it should be sung. So what is Williams doing with, with language uh, in the play? It is very musical language. It's not always sung, but there are, all these, there are these moments in it where you can really tell that Sam R. Williams began as a poet, began writing as a poet, and there are whole stretches of text where he just does devote a couple of minutes to giving you an image or drawing a picture for you with the words. So the play tells the oft-told story of African Americans leaving the South, coming up to the urban north and falling into trouble. How does he avoid this becoming a cliche? Or is some of it a cliche? I don't think he completely avoids making it a cliche. And some people might even argue that he's playing to a stereotype, as you said. Um, where it avoids it is the movement from the south to the north, even though it is a cliche, is a common experience uh, in African American history in the 20th century. I mean following World War I all the way up to 1970, you see almost complete uninterrupted migration from the country to the city and from the south to the north by African American Southerners. And so the movement in this play from North Carolina to the big city, um, even though Cephas is going for his own specific reasons, I think it does point to a cultural memory of African Americans in the 20th century and this great migration uh, that a lot of them were a part of. And I think African Americans who come see this play, a lot of them in Chicago, will recognize their parents or their grandparents in this. And you know, in terms of the character of Cephas itself, I think that it avoids cliche because Sam Art Williams imbues him with such specific character. He is a th real three-dimensional person. I had the sense that something really bad was going to happen to Cephas reading it. And I was surprised at the turn that it took. It is an overwhelmingly positive play, and especially in its regard to home. I mean, Sam Art Williams obviously isn't the first playwright to deal with the subject of home, especially not the first Southern playwright. I mean, think of Faulkner, Tennessee Williams, authors who struggle their whole lives with their complicated relationship to where they came from. But this is a play that sort of uncritically states at the end, yes, you can go home again, essentially. Um, and I think that's what makes it really remarkable, is that it's an incredibly optimistic story. I mean, obviously, there are criticisms about small town life, the close-mindedness, uh, the uh, racism. But all in all, he believes in the destiny of his hometown. Thank you very much. It should be fascinating. Thank you.